Good afternoon and welcome to Lancaster University, Ghana. As Gifty has already mentioned, I am Professor Malcolm McIver and I am the Provost and the CEO of the University. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here today to Lancaster University's, at Lancaster University Ghana's Hackathon and Creative Writing Awards Ceremony. When we first decided to launch this event, we did so because we wanted to give something back to the community. And we also hoped it would be an opportunity for us to engage with some of the best schools across West Africa and to identify and reward some of the brightest and best students. In that respect, we have been far more successful than we could have ever imagined. We've had the opportunity to work with some of the best schools around. Schools such as Presec Lagon, DPS Ghana, Agri Memorial Zion, Holy Child School, East Airport International School, and Light International School, Toga. And we were grateful for that opportunity to engage with these schools. It also gave us an opportunity to identify and work with some incredibly bright students. And for us, that was the icing on the cake. For us, that was the best, the most rewarding part of this experience, was to work with some incredibly bright young people. Now, for those of you that may not be aware of exactly who we are, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, Lancaster University Ghana is one of the most prestigious private universities in West Africa. We are a partnership between the Transnational Academic Group, or TAG as we call it, and Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. TAG is a multinational company and part of a much lar larger global organization that includes amongst others Forbes, Tech One Global and CNBC Africa. As an organization, TAG is committed to delivering high quality education and has institutions in both South Africa and the Middle East, as well as here in Ghana. Our long-term vision is to be the number one private university across West Africa. And we are well on the way to achieving that. Our other partner is Lancaster University, one of the top universities in the UK, consistently ranked in the top 10. Lancaster is also ranked, highly ranked internationally and was named the UK University of the Year in 2018 and the International University of the Year in 2020. So TAG or LUG is the result of a collaboration between these two highly successful and highly respected organizations. And as we move forward into the future, we are expanding. For some of you may already be aware of this, but later this year, we'll be moving into a new campus at Tantra Hills. This new campus will enable us to not only deliver a British education here in Ghana, but it will also enable us to provide students with those additional experiences that make going to university worthwhile. We will have our own in-campus accommodation for students. We will have our own canteen facilities. We'll have our own dedicated sports fields offering a range of different sporting activities. We will have a 21st century library. And in addition to that, we will have smart classrooms that will enable students not only engage with each other in the classroom, but to engage with students around the world. And at the end of all of that, they will be able to graduate with a British degree because we were, and we still are, the only British university campus here in Ghana. So enough about who we are and what we offer. Today isn't about promoting the university. As I said at the beginning, today is about rewarding those students who are amongst Ghana's brightest and best. Over to you, Gifty. Thank you very much, Malcolm. So, once again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for taking time, especially 
the participants, our winners. Thank you for taking time out to participate in our um, competition, the hackathon and the creative writing competition. So next on the agenda is um, some words, some few words from our faculty members, those who actually marked the scripts that came in. So we have on the call, our head of business, our business department, Dr. Emmanuel Arthur. We have our head of the law faculty, Victor Robe. We also have a representative from our computer science department. He's representing the, the faculty head and he is Mr. Frederick Menla. They are all on the call. So briefly, the three of them would give a few remarks, short remarks, few words, tell us about the scripts, what went into the marking process, the mark scheme, and everything that we need to know. So the winners would understand what really went into the various marks and the various prizes that they are receiving today. So over to you, faculty heads. I think Dr. Arthur will start, and then uh, Mr. Brobe would follow, and then Mr. Menla would be the third. Thank you. I hand over to you, Dr. Arthur. All right, thank you very much, Gifty. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I go into the details of the uh, essays, I just want to give a brief uh, introduction to the department. As Gifty rightly stated, I, st I head the business department and at Lancaster, the business department, we run four key programs, economics and international relations, accounting and finance, marketing and management studies. So just in case you were a student considering any of these degree program, obviously Lancaster will be a preferred place for you. And to the essays, I think that four key things guided the marking of the essay. The first was the arguments, understanding and analysis. It's very, very important. So I looked at things such as, and it was, it was, more, it was an essay on the benefits to be derived from any benefits we possibly have derived from the COVID. We all talk about the challenges associated with it, but we thought that as an university, we want to give the students opportunity to think beyond just the normal narrative, that despite the challenges, we do have some benefits. And is there the possibility some benefits could have accrued from this? So that was the essence of the essay. And so I looked at the understanding the argument and analysis. And I'm looking at things like the relevance of the answers to the questions and the understanding of the issues, uh, appropriate criticism. And we're looking at the quality of conclusions that were drawn from the essay. So that was the first thing that went into the essay. The second thing was the source and evidence. And I'm looking at the use of appropriate relevant literature and suitable bibliography. Unfortunately, I dare say that most of the essays that I read will have challenges with source, sources providing in-text citations and sources and bibliography. So I didn't go very big on that. But certainly that's a skill that if you want to pick up and very important in report writing, then you should be looking at Lancaster University because that's, once, that's something certainly will provide you the skills you need. And I realized reading through the essay that a lot of the students who submitted their essays fell short in that area. And I can guarantee you that three years in Lancaster University, by the time you are leaving, you will have honed your skills in areas like that. And it's very, very important. Another important element that I used in, in marking the essay was the written communication, <clears throat> the format and structure. Uh, you make an impression on your reader, not just with the content of your essay, but how well it is formatted. And I think that a lot of the essays fell short in that area, <clears throat> sorry. I also looked at clarity of communication, how well you're able to articulate your views. And that was very, very important for me. So these are the three key thematic areas that was used in <clears throat> assessing the essay. And for the person who won, and I'm sure we'll, the person will be um, shown to the audience, I think clearly I was impressed with the essay because the person started by telling us what the COVID case was, what is it about, what causes it. I think one of the most impressive part of that winning essay was the fact that the person indicated that COVID and the person looked at it from the personal perspective, the benefit that as an individual before going national and global, 
the person looked at it at a personal perspective. And one of the key things that the pens indicator was that COVID has provided him or her the opportunity to participate and hone her writing skills. This is the first time the person has written such an essay. And for me, it was very, very instructive. So he, the person was able to tell us what COVID was, tell us the causes, looked at the benefits from an individual national leadership perspective, clearly articulated the view that the leadership in Ghana had done a great deal in terms of uh, the COVID issue. How be the person also indicated some of the challenges, even the, the question didn't state specifically to write about the challenges. There was a paragraph on the challenges associated. And for me, then the essay was well formatted, uh, sentences were well structured, and I think it made a strong impression of me. And that's why I thought that the person who wrote that essay deserved to be the winner. So in a nutshell, this is what I'll say about the essay and about Lancaster University Ghana. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Arthur. Thank you so much. Next is Mr. Brobe, head of department or head of the law department, Lancaster University Ghana Law Department. Over to you, Mr. Brobe. Uh, thank you, Gifty. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I oh, can. Excellent. Great. Uh, so I'll, I'll um, ask Dr. Arthur that I'll say a few words about my department before I go on to talk about the uh, the essays. Um, the Lancaster University Law Department uh, gives a really specialized um, sort of one-on-one -on -one type uh, level tuition in the sense that we have smaller classes and we are able to really focus on building you the individual strengths of each student that, um, uh, that experiences the, um, the dedication that we provide in the department. In addition to that, we are the only law program that makes you eligible to um, take the, um, the the UK bar vocational um, courses um, sort of without doing the, the, the additional sort of one year um, class that you would have to take um, where you graduate from any other Ghanaian LLB. So it, it's, um, it, it has a, a lot of strengths and I hope um, some of you at least will get to um, participate in it. Um, particularly the, the person who submitted responses to these essays, because I, I was quite impressed by uh, many of the ideas that um, were um, posited by the, uh, by the participants. Um, the, the, the question was somewhat unusual in that it, it was asking about a, a fairly substantial change to our constitution. And um, and whether or not it could be justified, whether or not the the, the term limits that we had could be um, to be justified, and the responses that we got really demonstrated that um, um, th there are a lot of ideas, a lot of unexpectedly good ideas um, from persons from all ages um, in this country. We should probably take their opinions more seriously. We we looked at in 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 um. Uh, in ranking the essays, we looked at clarity of thought, we looked at grammar, we looked at structure and organization, and we looked at reasons for positions taken by the writer. The essay that did best um, really got the grades it did because of um, how unique his argument was. Uh, he basically argued um, that there should be no term limits, and that um, as long as there are period elections, we should be able to elect. Um, any person that we want as president. And justified this with examples from you know, Singapore, from Germany, from the United Kingdom, as you'd expect. And also by with examples from things that happen in Ghana. And, um, and even though I was skeptical when he first started, you know, by the end of the essay, I was quite persuaded that you know, this might actually work in Ghana. So, um, uh, so as I said, the ideas were fantastic and sort of well deserved, and I, um, I'm hoping that the the participants sort of take a cue and um, and um, apply to our programs, particularly our law program or all our business programs or, or computer pro working on computer science programs as their interest may um, suit them. So thank you. Thank you very much, Victor Robe. Thank you. So um, next is Mr. Frederick Dihier Menla. Hello, Frederick. I hand over to you. He's representing 
the head of department for our computer science or the head of our computer science department. So Fred, over to you. Thanks, Gifty. Good Welcome. afternoon, everyone. Uh, I believe uh, the students who actually participated in the hackathon will have seen it was a hackathon with a difference. In that many a time in the hackathon, we actually allow you or ask you to code. But it felt like being different, seeing that your background, you might not all have been exposed to computer science. So we asked you to write an essay. And that essay, what we we're really looking for in it was how can you search for information on the internet? And how can you identify, interpret, analyze, and then synthesize this information? In that one of the things that we know that is constant today is change, and that change is being driven by technology. In our department of the computer science, that is what drives us, the change. We keep abreast with new technology. And by keeping abreast with these technologies, we decided that we give you something to do on artificial intelligence. And if you looked at the question, it was actually asking you to argue, to debate. You have to take a stand for or against or in between. But whatever that you did, you had to try and then justify your stand, which is a normal skill that you need in everyday life. When you make a decision, you need to justify it. The submissions were all very good. I think most of them were actually from the internet. But the winner, one of the things that we found from him was how he actually introduced the subject. His definition, his description of artificial intelligence, various uses or encounters in everyday life in artificial intelligence just actually swept all of us. In fact, we are more than one that we might. We just picked that, uh, what they call it, presentation. That is a good introduction. Though getting to the end, he couldn't actually articulate the, or join the examples. We could know that this is a high school work. When you get to the university, that is our work. And when you come in, we will polish you. And we make sure that by the time you go out, you can rub shoulders with the best of the best in the world. The winner, I think also did one other thing. We could tell that he had actually researched when you look at computer science, there are various aspects, various, uh, what they call it, uh, arms and then the like. So to actually make your point, you need to synthesize different points, different ideas from various other, what they call it, uh, fields within computer science. And this, the writer actually did very well. And that is what we are here for. If you're looking for a program in computer science, I'm telling you, as far as the West Coast, the West Africa is concerned. In fact, well, I will not stick my head for Africa, but as long as the West Coast is concerned, we are the best. We've got the best faculty, we do a teamwork, and we make sure that by the time you go out, you've got the best of all the faculty. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Fred Menla. They've said it all. We are the best and we are the only British university campus in sub-Saharan Africa, West Africa to be precise. So if you want the best of university education, please look no further. Come to Lancaster University, Ghana. You won't graduate or you won't have a local degree. You would have a British degree that has global significance. And you would have the best of experience. You'll be taught by the best in the world, you would have the best of experiences as a university student. So look no further if you decide to pursue a university program or an undergraduate program, or even a postgraduate program. We have an executive MBE. Look no further, come to Lancaster University, Ghana. Thank you all faculty heads. I would hand over again to Professor McIver. It's the, the, the ish of the whole event. This is the time our award winners are going to be announced. So Professor McIver would let us know who or which people are winning the various awards and what award has been won by who. So I hand over again to you, Malcolm, to announce our award winners or prize winners to us. Thank you very much, Gifty. 
And could I just reassure those of who may be curious about Dr. Fred, he is not an international criminal who is hiding, um, nor is he hideously deformed. He's a very handsome young man. He's just incredibly shy. So without further ado, to the important part of the day, the part that I'm sure you've all been interested in waiting for, and that is to announce the winners of this competition. I'd like to start by saying that the quality of every participant was exceptionally high. And I know that the judges found it very, very difficult to make their decisions. If you weren't successful today, don't let that deter you. There is still an opportunity for you here at Lancaster University Ghana, and we would welcome all of you to join us in the future. But it is a competition and we did have to select winners. So without further ado, because I know everybody's at home saying get on with it, so I shall get on with it. If I could start with the hackathon. The second runner up in the hackathon, and my apologies if I get your name wrong, was Lawson Buabasa. Lawson comes from Agri Memorial Zion Secondary Senior High School and is our second runner up and receives a prize of 250 SEDI and a 25% scholarship to the university. Are you with us, Lawson? Hello, Lawson, you're on mute. Yes, please. Hello, Lawson. Congratulations. Oh. Very well done. Thank you very and much. I, and I hope we see you at Lancaster University in the future. Thank you very much. Our first runner up in terms of the hackathon was, and again, my apologies if I get this wrong, Malav Daftari from Presec School Lagon. And Malav wins 500 SEDI and a 35% scholarship. Are you with us, Malav? Uh, yeah, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Malav. Congratulations, very well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Are you, are you thinking of joining us in the future or do your ambitions lie elsewhere? Uh, I've still not decided, so uh, it's, it's definitely one of my options. Okay, I, I understand that people haven't necessarily made a decision at this moment in time, but please, any and all of you, feel free to speak to our team, come and visit us even if you like. We're more than happy to have a conversation and to help you make informed decisions in terms of your future. Okay, I'm, I'm padding this out to try and build the suspense for those of you who don't know the, who the winner is. So without further ado, I will come to our first prize winner in the hackathon. And our first prize winner receives 1,000 SEDI and a 50% scholarship. This winner comes from, uh, from also comes from Pesek Lagon School and is Jerome Maruli Kwadzu Adoka. Are you with us, Jerome? Uh, yes, please. Uh, good afternoon, all. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and I know, and I can speak for the judges, that this was an excellent piece of work. You know, we were all impressed with what you submitted. And I sincerely hope we do get the opportunity to work with you in the future. Congratulations, Jerome. Well done. Thank you once again. So that leaves us with the essay competition. And I have to say, creative writing is something that I particularly enjoy. And I, I was very, very impressed by the quality of the writing here. There were some incredible pieces of work. And I know the judges found it very difficult. But I am pleased to say that our second runner up with a prize of 250 SEDI and a 25% scholarship is Hafsatu Musa. I hope I said that right, from Agra Memorial Zion Senior High School. Are you with us, Hafsatu? Um, yes, sir, I am. Did I get your name right? Please don't be yes, you did. You did, you did. Okay. Congratulations, Hafsatu. It was a very, very good piece of work. I really enjoyed it. Thank and you. I hope we get the opportunity to work with you in the future. 
Thank you once again. Our first runner up is Droma Ayi from Holy Child School. Is that right? No, I think I've got that wrong. I think you correct me if I'm wrong. It's East Airport International East School. East Airport, yes. East Airport International School. My apologies. So our second runner up is, is Droma from East Airport International School with a 500 SETI award and a 35% scholarship. Congratulations, Droma. Thank you very much. You can smile, you know, you've, you've, you've got a prize. That's much better. Well done, Droma. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. No, thank you for the, for the opportunity to read your work. It was a very good piece of work. Well done. You have a bright future ahead of you. And last, and most definitely not least, our first prize winner, who comes from Holy Child uh, Senior High School, and that is Frida Gabati. Have yes. I got that right, Frida? Yes, yes, that's you. Congratulations, Frida. And Thank you've you won so much. on the 50% scholarship. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations. My, uh, apparently, I'm sorry, forgive me, I've just seen a message. Okay. My apologies to Malav. You are actually in Delhi private school, Malav. My apologies. Um, I'm, I'm reading from a yeah. very small script and I'm an old man with poor eyesight. So I do apologize. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> So, once again, my heartiest congratulations to the award winners and all my commiserations to those that didn't win an award. But as I said at the beginning, every single one of you produced excellent pieces of work and every single one of you would be most welcome to join us at our university. So thank you very much to everybody. And without further ado, I will pass you over to Mr. Chris Pilgrim who is one of our executive directors and our chief strategy officer. Over to you, Chris. Thank you, Malcolm, very much. Uh, so I just wanted to take a minute by way of uh, closing the event uh, to say on behalf of the board members and the entire team at Transnational Academic Group who have been bringing Lancaster University to Ghana since 2014. Uh, I first wish to thank all of the students who participated in this year's hackathon and in the creative writing competitions. Uh, I also thank your teachers, your school counselors, your parents and others who supported your participation in these competitions. Um, we truly hope that you had a rewarding and a fun experience. To the winners of the 2021 Hackathon and Creative Writing Competitions, we congratulate you on your success and for standing out amongst your peers. Well done to our Hackathon champions, uh, Jerome, Malav and Lawson, and to our Creative Writing uh, Competition champions, Frida, Dromo and Hafsatu. Very well done. Uh, one, just one second, sorry. So I'm hoping that you'll share your experience with your brothers and your sisters, your classmates, your neighbors, and your friends. And please let them know that they can not only study for a top ranked British degree from Man Lancaster University right here in Ghana, but they can also do so at less than half the price that it would cost if you're going to the UK. At TAG Ghana, we bring the very best of British higher education directly to you so that you can get the very best start onto your chosen careers, which in the end will enable you to have a lasting impact on the development of your country and of its people. Thank you once again, and a congratulations to all. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, everyone. Um, without delaying, we, we, we've exceeded our time by just three minutes, but I'll just implore our winners to share brief experiences. What, what motivated you? So Jomo, quickly, in a minute, what motivated you to, to partake or to participate in this competition? Um, okay, thank you. And once again, thank you for the opportunity. So I was actually essay hunting. Okay. For competitions online, I came across... Um, the Lancaster um, competition and um, I was happy to see that uh, a topic I was interested in the one on democracy was there and so of course I, I jumped at the opportunity and to Mr. Bobby I was quite skeptical myself 
about my own stance, but it was a really great experience and I'd recommend it to every single Ghanaian student. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again and see you in the mm -hmm. not so far future. I think we've temporarily uh, lost Gifty. Yeah. Whilst we're waiting for Gifty to rejoin us, could I yes, just yes. <laughs> everybody that unfortunately this is a, uh, an online event. We would very much like it to have been a face-to-face -face event. I'm sure you understand why that wasn't possible. Mm. But for all of you, if you want to come and join us at as a student, that would be wonderful. But even if you don't want to come and join us as students, you are welcome to visit any time so that I can personally meet you and, and, and congratulate you on your successes. So even if you're not interested in joining us as a university, please keep in touch, come and visit us. We'll give you a tour of our new campus and it's an opportunity for you to meet the blind old man personally. I think Gifty's back with us now, so over to you, Gifty. Hello, Gifty. You are on mute, Gifty. Yes, okay. Thank you very much, Malcolm. Gerald, are you available to share your experience with that? What motivated you to participate in this competition? One minute. Um, so for me, Hello. I had been, uh, so for me, I had been looking for competitions in relation to IT in Ghana, Africa, but I couldn't find any. So when one just popped up in my backyard, I decided that why not try and see if I could win. Okay, okay. Well done, well done, congratulations. Hafsa too. Thank you very much. Would you let us know what pushed you to participating in this competition? You are not based in Ghana, right? No, I'm not. I'm not. You are in Togo? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm in Togo. Okay. Right now. Okay. So tell us what pushed you to be a part of this competition. Uh, honestly, I wanted to like um, in the in the website, the uh, among the type of scholarship which we have, I wanted to write an essay. So when I, I got this, I was like, well, there's no need to do that if I could do this. And the topic was really interesting. So I was like, yeah, sure. Very well. Very well. Thank you for participating. Please share your success story with your friends, your family in Togo. Sell us out in Togo. And we look forward to meeting you on campus, being a part of our community, i.e. being a student of Lancaster University, Ghana. Thank Lawson. You. Welcome, Hasatu. Lawson, let us know what motivated you to participate in this competition. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. First, I was really motivated to participate in the competition because um, I had this great interest in computer science. So a friend shared the, um, it's, uh, shared the link with me. So I just had to participate. She was like, you lost me, I had to participate in this. So I really took the opportunity and I never regretted doing it. So. I thank you all very much for giving me such opportunity to express my. You're most welcome. And we look forward to having you become a part of us, having you or welcoming you as a student at Lancaster University, Ghana. Of course, of course, okay. thank you. Okay, you're most welcome. Malav, can we know why you chose to be a part of this competition? Malav um, from yeah. Delhi Preparatory School, Delhi Public School, sorry. Uh, yes, so I was actually searching for um, hackathons and uh, competitions related to computer science online, uh, related to coding and programming, because uh, I actually like I actually do a lot of uh, programming myself. So I was just searching for some hackathons online. I couldn't find many in Ghana, but then um, one day, one of uh, our school university counselors sent um, the pamphlet to the Lancaster Hackathon, and I was like, this is what I've been waiting for for months, and I got the opportunity, so I just took it. Okay, thank you. You see why it is important for you to join us. We are the best. You searched and searched for hackathon opportunities. You found none. 
until we came on board with our competition. So make sure that you enroll with us. We look forward to receiving your application and then giving you an offer. Okay, is that a deal? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, okay, my love. Thank you. I would really um, Freda. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Freda from Holy Child School. What Hi. pushed you, what motivated you to be a part of this competition? Okay, so honestly, before I, I, it's been so long since I have written, and I got this the link from my counselors because they've been in school with me and they've seen how good I write and everything. So they pushed me. They kept on telling me that I could try it, and I would try and try and try, and I'll still look at my essay and think that I'll be skeptical about everything, but then I'll still go back to them, and then they will still push me. So it was basically my teachers they pushing me to to tell me that um, i'm a good writer and i can do more so yes i just made everything flow thankfully and yes you guys gave me the opportunity and i matched the winner so thank you so much for this opportunity. most welcome most welcome freda share your success story and we look forward to receiving your application okay. and giving you an offer okay. is that a deal yes please definitely <laughs> Great, great, great. I hope I've interviewed every one of you, Mala, Freda, Jerome, um, Hafsa too. Have I Lawson, all of you have spoken right. And then thank you so much. I would really say a big thank you to all your counselors, the, the various counselors of the participating schools, Father George, um, Enoch, um, Andrews. Sorry if I have left your name out, but we really appreciate the efforts you made or you put into preparing your students to participate in this event and win it. We are very grateful to you for that opportunity. And like Professor Malcolm said earlier, we look forward to fostering a long-term partnership with all the participating schools so that it's just not for today or just not for, for this year's hackathon event, but subsequent ones. And look, we look forward to you recommending more students of these schools or from these schools to actually enroll with us. We would reward you immensely. So please sell us on your various campuses, encourage your students, the bright ones to, to enroll with us. And even the, the if, if they, are, they are financially challenged, we have several scholarship packages available. Once they have the brains, once they have the grades, to study with us, we would always work something out. Thank you so much students. Thank you so much, counselors. Thank you, friends and family who joined this event. We are very, very grateful. We look forward to having the same thing, but this time in person in the coming year. So thank you so much. I would quickly ask Chris Pilgrim to just close us in a few words. Well, I don't think there's much more that I can add again. Uh, we're thrilled that everybody participated. Um, we really, really hope that you had a good time and a, a, you know, a gained a learning experience here. And we really hope to see you all here. So thanks again to everyone and have a great okay. day. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye-bye, <laughs> let's all give away. Bye. Bye. So the prizes will be given out next week. So please stand by for us. We'll be contacting you and then letting you know how you would actually receive your prizes, have them in hand. And we'll be very grateful or happy to um, have you meet Professor Malcolm should you pass by our campus to get your prize. We would want to meet you in person and take some photographs with you and showcase you to the world that you are associated with our brand, the best university in West Africa. Thank you all once again. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. Bye. Bye.